What's going on you guys? It's your boy Lloyd here with the Single Guy Channel bringing you practical and actionable dating advice. I get a boatload of questions from guys asking me how to get girls on the dance floor. Lloyd, how do I start dancing with a girl? Lloyd, how do I pick up a girl on the dance floor? Um, I get it from clients, I get it from people who watch my channel. And so in this video, basically what I'm going to do just for you guys is I'm going to awkwardly dance in front of this camera to show you how I pick up girls on the dance floor, okay? Um, this is something that I usually prefer to talk to a girl and then take her to the dance floor, but it's definitely possible to just go into the dance floor and just by your vibe, just by your movement, just by the fun that you're having, a lot of girls are gonna wanna be uh, coming around you, and then once you have those opportunities, how do you capitalize on them? Okay, cool. So before I get into this, um, if you guys are looking to get trained by me in person, I'm doing boot camps around the world, so if you take a look at my schedule down below, see if there's a city that you're willing to come to on the date that I have specified. If the city that you want me to come to is not there, please put it in the next section because if there's enough people that want me to come to a city, I will come there. Cool, all right, let's get into the awkward dancing. All right, so dance floor game. What do you do when you're on the dance floor? Now, personally, I like to talk to girls before I take them to the dance floor, but if you're already on the dance floor, this is kind of what I'm gonna cover, which is basically like how to pick up a girl just kind of like by dancing and moving and you know just saying a few words because it's very difficult to talk on the dance floor. Like the music's too loud. And honestly, people don't wanna talk. They went to the dance floor to dance, to move around. And if you just wanna talk, then maybe go to a different area or go to a different place where you're not dancing. Okay, so I'm actually a really, really good dancer. You don't need to be a good dancer to get women. You know, I used to do like popping battles back in the day, like I can do a little, do a little wavy stuff. Um, and it makes me look cool, but it, I actually don't do this when I'm trying to dance with somebody. Like if I'm dancing socially, typically I'll just do like usual movements that most people are doing, just kind of get myself into the mode. I don't do anything too crazy. And the reason why is because if a girl sees me doing these crazy moves, yeah, sure, it might get some people to clap or like cheer me on or maybe a circle will start. Um, and that's cool, maybe I can get a girl from there. But usually, if I pop a move, like, like one of those waves or whatever, then she's just gonna be like this. And she's gonna kinda wanna like back away from me. The reason why is because she can't do any of that stuff. So if I'm gonna dance with her, she's gonna be way too intimidated to dance with me because I'm like doing some moves that she has no idea how to do. So I usually just do usual movements, kind of like this, maybe some silly, silly movements or whatever, uh, you know, fist bump or whatever it is, where, whatever area you're in, different, different um, areas have different moves that people like to do a lot. Um, so I'll do some of those. Now when I get to my spot, usually I'll, okay, but even before I get to my spot, what I'll do is I'll kind of be moving a little bit before. So like, once you get into the club, you're usually kind of lower energy than everybody else. So to pick your energy up, just start moving around and grooving, you know? The more you move around, the more likely it is you're gonna be moving around in the future because you're gonna have higher energy, okay? The more you move, the higher your energy gets. So I move around even before I get there. So by the time I get there, I'm already feeling pretty good. If you've been sitting down the whole time and you expect to just jump into the dance floor mode, okay, that's too big of a jump, right? So move a little bit before you get there. And then once you're here, you're already feeling pretty good. So once I get here, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna kind of see which people are looking at me, see which girls are kind of glancing over, see which girls are cool with me being in their space. So like if I see a girl maybe over there who's kind of like looking at me while I'm dancing or doing whatever it is, um, then maybe I'll give her like a fist bump or something like that. Or, you know, it's like it's not a fist pump, it's fist pump, fist pumping. <laughs> That's what it's called. So I'll do one of those. And if she does it back, like she imitates my movements, that's pretty good. That means she's interested in me, okay? Then maybe I'll try and move my way over cl closer to her uh, and see if she'll want to dance with me, okay? Um, but if I'm already close by somebody, like let's say these, <laughs> let's say these two lamps are hot girls. Um, let's say I like this girl, okay? So I want to dance with this girl. I get in my spot, I'm moving, I'm doing my, I'm doing my groove and stuff. Now I'm gonna kind of come a little close, see how she reacts, okay? She's got her back turned to me, whatever. Um, she'll probably, she, she, she generally notices that somebody's there. Now, if she likes you, then she's probably gonna be cool with you coming into her space. If she doesn't like you, then she's gonna go like this. She's gonna go, ugh. <laughs> she's gonna be backing away from you, okay? She's not gonna wanna talk to you. Um, and it's, by the way, this doesn't mean that she hates your guts. It just doesn't mean she wants, it just means she doesn't wanna you know, talk or dance right now. So 
Don't take it personally, man. You're gonna just, whatever happens, just laugh it off. It's very important, okay? You need to be comfortable being silly. You need to be comfortable not judging yourself on the dance floor, because the more you do that, the more you're gonna hesitate and stand awkwardly around. No girl wants to dance with that guy. Okay, so I'm coming in, I'm grooving. Now, if she likes it, she's cool with me being in her space, sometimes I'll get a little shoulder shimmy. Sometimes she'll do a little shoulder shimmy with me back, and then I'll do a little bit of this, and then I'll come back, maybe I'll give her a high five, and then just kind of keep grooving, and then, a lot of dancing, you see how I kind of pulled her in here, then I pushed her away. You do a lot of push-pull, okay? Push-pull is really key in conversations. It's even bigger in, you know, in dancing and movement, okay? That's actually where push-pull probably originated from because a lot of dancing is tension, a lot of dancing is kind of like, um, it's, it's kind of like flirting, really. So if I do that, then I kind of pull away. Now I'm gonna do some dance moves and see if, she, see if she imitates them, see if she's playing ball, see if she's like, you know, actually dancing with me. Now there are no set rules when it comes to dancing, especially in the Western society era. Um, but basically, if they're imitating your movements, that's pretty good. That means you guys are playing around with each other. That means you guys are having fun. Now I have a big ass smile on my face. I'm not trying to be serious. So if she's smiling, she's giggling, she's having a good time, that's all really great. Now if she's playing ball with me, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my hand and use the hand of God. If you don't know what the hand of God is, it's basically where you reach out your hand and you reach it 90% of the way towards the girl and she gives you that last 10% where she takes your hand and then you pull her in. Hey, how's it going? I'm Lloyd, nice to meet you. So you do one of those, okay, while you're on the dance floor. So I'll, if it's going well, she's like moving around with me, we're both imitating each other, then what I'll do is I'll take my hand, put it 90% of the way, she'll grab it, then I'll turn her around and now we're dancing with each other, okay? Once you start doing this, don't immediately just grab her and start grinding aggressively. <laughs> okay, we're not 14 anymore, you guys. That shit doesn't work. Okay, you're gonna freak her out. Or, or maybe there's a chance if she's like a young girl that she'll actually do it for a while, but you're probably not gonna get a phone number out of it, and even if you do, she's probably not gonna text you back, okay? So I, I wanna establish a better connection than just like a quick grind on some random chick. What I wanna do is uh, I'll take her in, I'll do the same movements, I'll be smiling, then maybe I'll talk to her for a little bit. Your conversations on the dance floor are not gonna be long. They're gonna be like five words at most. It's gonna be like, what is your name? <laughs> That's four, I guess. Where are you from, okay? That's gonna be like that. You know, you're gonna need to talk loudly, you're gonna need to talk very, very slowly. Don't try and have a full-blown on conversation on the dance floor, you're gonna kill the vibe. So. Basically, I'll dance with her for a little bit. I'll do some silly moves and I'll see if she imitates them. I like the dice rolling one, the fist pump one's good. Maybe get her like do some high fives or whatever, spin her around a couple times. And then basically you're just fooling around, having fun, not judging yourself, okay? Then when if that's been happening for a little bit, I might get her name, I might get, get where she's from. Then I'm gonna see if I can move her from the dance floor to the bar or to somewhere else where we can have a conversation. I can get to know her a little more and then ask for her phone number or see if she's gonna come home with me, depending on what I'm trying to do that night. So uh, that's basically my method for getting a girl on the dance floor. Hopefully you guys liked it with my awkward dancing between two lamps, uh, but that's basically how it's done. So thanks for watching you guys if you're interested in getting coached by me one-on-one -on -one, um, I have some spots open basically just fill out the form down below and if we think you're a good fit we'll get back to you and if you're also interested in joining my Facebook group with a bunch of like-minded guys I recommend you do that there's a link for that in the description as well thanks a lot you guys good luck out there awesome.